Okay, so hi class. Uh, this is your lecture about your audience and knowing your client. Um, first off, sometimes you know you may meet a client for the first time, you may not know a lot about them. And so what you would want to do with the kickoff meeting is find out these things, but I would say the most important thing you need to know is what makes that business unique. When you focus on the uniqueness, neat design solutions are going to come to you as you understand who their customer is and why they uniquely serve that customer it's really going to help you understand what your design parameters are likely to be okay so these are good questions for you to consider such as you know knowing your client the primary business why they're doing this project you might want to look at their website ahead of time and so forth and so on I wouldn't do too much competitors web presence ahead of time. You should certainly let them walk you through who their competitors are because you may come up with a different idea than uh, than perhaps they come up with, okay? Then also, there are some different traits, you know, such as age, occupation, gender, education, and so forth, that make a difference in terms of how uh, how you approach your design work. And, you know, you might want to take a look at how other companies are presenting to that, that kind of demographic, okay? Um, there are clues about your audience that you can find. However, uh, you might be also led astray. Keep in mind, other designers may not have done a really good job. Oftentimes, a good way to know if you're hitting the audience correctly is show the audience some mock-ups that's kind of a tried and true way and it's uh it really takes the guesswork out of things um okay so in terms of youth audiences they like high em energy imagery and graphics and images that have various supplied effects that all may be true but sometimes they like simplicity okay they are comp completely bombarded with uh with extreme things these days so keep in mind simplicity is also a branding strategy apple is excellent at, at the simplicity t-mobile goes pretty crazy for example with the uh with the complexity uh even though their message their their message is simplicity but their visual is complexity it's a little bit of a curiosity um, urban professionals such as this power walking lady um, probably want the simplicity as all as well um, a mature audience so they're suggesting that it can be cut into two groups little experience with the latest technology and uh, people who have experience with the latest technology this is very true keep in mind that uh, some people such as uh, myself I'm, I'm 51 uh, I have been in the technology business now for over 30 years and I've been dealing with technology hands-on and creating technology for a very long time there are plenty of people out there that are uh, that are mature audiences that that have uh, have a lot of technical background and you can also have 18 year olds who don't have any technical knowledge other than how to use Facebook and you should keep that in mind as you're as you're working on your designs and your solutions okay um, for a corporate audience well yes you can show them in business attire but keep in mind that business attire is something that's highly subjective you know if, it, if you're talking about financial people uh, financial workers yes they tend to wear suits and so forth so keep in mind that uh, this is also another thing that's really great to mock up and show to uh, uh, target audience okay in terms of choosing the right graphics and images your client may may have some graphics the quality could vary greatly but it's something to consider you know seeing if they have some graphics or if they have some good ideas of the sorts of graphics that they would like to see um, so for for a hospital client or senior care facility uh, caring people sure it's a it's a great image um, there are certainly no doubt uh, caring 
caring nurses, doctors, healthcare workers, and so forth. Um, I find their images to avoid to be a little bit funny. People in obvious pain, uh, crowded hallways or emergency rooms, empty hospital rooms. Um, you know, if you are if you are doing work for a lawyer who uh, who sues nursing homes, however, perhaps that is good imagery to include. Keep in mind, it depends on the client, it depends on the target audience, okay? So these are each uh, some, some different things. Banking client, high tech client, um, uh, you know, there might be some differences. So here, uh, they're suggesting use a professional portrait, portrait of company founders if available. Well, that might be true. However, studies show that uh, that too much imagery of founders, too much imagery of the company leader, uh, actually has a negative effect. Um, they are, uh, uh, you know, very good examples are, uh, for example, the CEO of Disney. Disney on the annual report, uh, the the image of him is almost not existent or it's very, very extremely small. In fact, they have done studies that show that the uh, the size of the graphic of the of the CEO or president uh, actually uh, is different, uh, suggests, it has an in inverse relationship, I mean, to, uh, to stock performance. And uh, so I'm not the least bit surprised that S Disney CEO has a little tiny photo and the stock does very, very well. Um, okay, moving on, um, you know, you can read here about small retail business clients or restaurants, um, you know, that, that all of these can vary very tremendously you know, if I may give you an example, you know, some of their guidance here about for a restaurant client, well, they, you might want to show a friendly waiter, professional portraits, busy chefs, customers putting food in their mouths. Um, uh, yeah, you don't want to do any of these, these things that are images to avoid, but keep in mind, if every single restaurant or bank or technology company follows these rules, all things will look the same. How do you draw out the uniqueness in the client and in the client's imagery and design work? That's really the trick, okay? Um, gives you some guidance for a variety of different businesses, which is kind of cool. So again, let me stress, get the uniqueness, okay? The uniqueness is, is really the thing.